Okay, in this lesson, what I want to do is go ahead and show you how we can now take our characters that we have exported out from 3ds Max and import them into Unreal Ed so that we can start using them in our movie. So what I want to do is go ahead and come over here to the Animations Browser. And just to make things a little bit easier to see, let's go ahead and maximize this. And, oh, there's Mr. Jug. Let's go ahead and bring in our own character. So let's go ahead and come up here to File. And I'm going to come down here to Mesh Import. This is going to be the first thing we need to do. Obviously, we need to have our geometry before we can start applying animation to it. Right, Logan? That's right. Okay, kind of makes sense. So Mesh Import and, hmm, Logan Test. No, we don't want to go there. Let's come all the way back up to D Drive. And we saved it up under UT2K3 Export. And look at that. We've got Fighter Fall PSK and Fighter Kick PSK. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in the Fighter Kick. Tell it open. And the first thing is it's going to ask us is what package do you want to save this in? Do we want to save it in the current package jug? No, we want to go ahead and save it in my level. We're just going to keep everything self-contained in this one map that we're working on. Right. If you want to reuse these uh, this mesh and animation and, and other levels, you might want to consider putting it in its own separate package. Absolutely. Uh, in our case, we want this to all be contained within just this map and used in only this map. That way, we can, uh, if we needed to load this file on another machine, all we need is the .ut2 file. Exactly. So my level and the name Fighter Kicks just fine. I'll go ahead and click OK. And all right. So new object Fighter Kick. I'll click OK and look at that Swamp Thing. All right. That's because we're missing textures. So uh, let's go ahead and get a texture on her real quick. So I'm just going to come over here to textures, come up to file, come down to import, and let's go ahead and grab, again, let's come back over here to the D folder up under the export, and let's grab the gray skin. And what package do we want to save it in? Again, as Logan just said, we want to keep everything self-contained in this one file. So my level. And group, eh, there's no reason for a group. It's name. Gray skin is fine with me, so I'll go ahead and tell it OK. And there you go. You can see we've also managed to pick up a couple of the other textures that are in there as well. These textures are being used for what, Mr. Logan? For the screenshot of the map. You got it. Back when you're inside your menu selecting which level you want That's to play. That's right. So what I'm going to do is simply select my skin. You can see how the, we've got the green highlight around it. Now what I'm going to do is come back over here to Animations, and I can simply come down here to Skin, Open Up Materials, click over here on None, and then click Use, and look at that. All right, so she's coming along. Let's go ahead and get the animation imported now. Right now you can see there's zero sequences available over here. So very easy to do this. Just simply go up to File, Animation Import, and then from here I'll simply come into Fighter Kick Anim, Tell it to open, okay, my level, so the package is right. I'm going to go ahead and copy this right here, and you'll see why in just a second. And then go ahead and tell it okay. And now at this point, look at that. Sequences, kicks, 124 frames. So if I come down here and hit play, look at that. What you just saw over in 3ds Max is now an Unreal Ed running without any problem. But one of the things that's very important that I need to do now is simply come over here to Animation, expand that, and where it says Default Animation, I'll click in here and simply paste. So Control V and hit Enter. And let me move this over just a little bit so you can see this. Let's go ahead and refresh that. There you go. Make sure that it goes in there and it puts the quotes around it and also the additional information mesh animation at the very beginning. This is pretty important, right, Logan? Right. If it does, if it finds an actual sequence matching whatever you typed in, it'll go ahead and put the, uh, the other necessary characters around it. Exactly. And if it does not, uh, if you end up, if you forget this area and then go to try to actually use the character inside your map, you're going to have a bit of a problem. As a matter of fact, you're going to get a, in this case, since the sequence is called kicks, it's going to give you an error, kicks animation not found, right? Right, because without it, well, we were able to play because we just brought the animation in, so it, it, it knew it was there. If you were to close this out, reload the editor, or load this into a real level, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't know which animation to be associated with. Exactly. If you, or if you set the default animation, it knows which one it belongs to. Exactly. So that's very important. Okay, so now that we've got this character set up, let's go ahead and come up here and do another mesh import. And this time, let's bring in Fighter Fall. So go ahead and bring it in. It's already set up for my level. Go ahead and click OK. And there you go. Now facing the other way, okay, of course, Swamp Thing again. So we can go ahead and come over here to Textures real quick, File, come down to Import, and let's go ahead and grab the green skin. And into my level's good, so I'll go ahead and tell it OK. Now I'll make sure that this texture is selected. And now I'll go ahead and come back over here to Animations. And again, up under Skin, Material, click, and Use. Okay, so now we've got the texture assigned, looking good. Now let's go ahead and get the animation in. 
So again, file, I'll come down and do an animation import, and then we'll just grab the animation fall, go ahead and tell it OK, and again, I'm going to copy this just to make life a little bit easier for me. Sending it into my level, that's good. I'll go ahead and tell it OK. So there's fall. If I come in here and I hit play, smack and fall, so that looks good. And we can go ahead and just come back over here and rewind that back. Again, up under animation, come down to default animation, and I will go ahead and hit control V to paste that in there. Hit enter, make sure it does put the supporting information in there, and it does. So everything's good at this point, right, Logan? Right, it's all ready to go. So now, the moment you save your map that you've got, all of this information is going to be saved into it. So with this, that's going to wrap up this lesson. Very short lesson, just simply showing you how to bring in your models, how to bring in the animation basically put them together, bring the textures in, put the textures with them, and now we're ready to start setting things up back over here in our viewport. So that's going to wrap up this lesson. Thanks.